Joining us now is Jack Caffrey, J.P. Morgan Asset Management's Equity Portfolio Manager, and Brian Levitt, Invesco North America Global Market Strategist. Good afternoon to you both. Brian, I'll start with you. I mean, Bob just kind of laid it out right there. We've had this rebalancing on the one hand, and on the other, some profit taking in, in big cap tech names, and the possibility of a summer correction. Do you do you think that's a, a real risk here? Yeah, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't over exaggerate the risk. I mean, what I would say is there's potential for some retracement of some of the gains that we've had this year. That's that's how these things tend to play out. We've had a, a very nice advance, but it's been pretty narrow. And typically when you have narrow advances, it suggests that they tend to be less sustainable than if you have more broader um, advances. And we're still dealing with the challenges of a slowing economy. And we're still grappling with when the Fed's going to end rate hikes. And, and so that puts a little bit of pressure on equities here. Like, I'm not overly concerned. Markets tend to do very well in the couple of years after Fed tightening. It's just perhaps some, some near-term challenges as we move through this period. Jack, how do you see it, especially when we did get that LEI that continues to, to flash recession warning signals? A lot of focus these last couple of days on some of the yield curve inversions as well. I mean, do the recession fears actually matter here? And if so, how do you position yourself for it? Or has the can been kicked? Well, I think that everyone entered this year anticipating a recession. And for the most part, the initial calls were for a first half recession. Um, I think at one hand, though, what we've seen is much better data than people were expecting. And employment data in particular has been almost a thorn in the side of the Fed, which is why their commentary has been so hawkish. And they've been dragging the bond market to agree with them versus the rate cuts that we were talking about pricing in um, as more recently as call it five or six weeks ago uh, in terms of, of commentary. You know, the Fed keeps reminding us monetary policy works with a lag. And so the fact is we're here. We are now inverted now for a year. I do think that there is a, re a recession still to come. I think that actually makes some of the anticipation of a bottoming, if not actually a recovery, in earnings estimates later this year or even looking into 2024 a little bit more suspect. Um, and then I'm going to add bank tightening. You know, we were told yesterday by Chairman Powell, or I should say our fears were confirmed yesterday by Chairman Powell, the big banks are going to be expected to hold more capital. Hmm. So inverted curve, bank lending about to fall, not only because senior loan officers are saying they're scared, but effectively now you have to put up more capital against those loans and charge more for them to earn a return on okay. your now increased capital base. Brian, for the investors at home, since we're talking about Russell rebalancing, let's talk about portfolio rebalancing. What does that mean, in particularly in 2023, you think, uh, for investors, where you've had this big run, interest rates are in a very different place uh, than they've been any year in recent memory? Well, look, the, the start of the year was, was a soft landing type of rally. So investors started to get excited about small caps value, emerging markets. We never thought that that was sustainable. And around the time that the regional banks started to fail or a handful of regional banks started to fail, you ended up in a more defensive environment. I think that that defensive environment continues here now um, where you you want to favor quality. So that's quality within the fixed income space and that's quality within the equity space. And, you know, a lot of those quality names have been winning. They tend to be larger cap. Um, they tend to have a growthier bent to them. Um, but what you want to look out for is signs over the you know, the coming months, are we starting to see signs of, of a recovery? And it's going to take a bit of time. Um, you know, we still haven't seen this much anticipated recession. So I would hunker down here a bit in quality investments, but keep your eye out on the sign that things are turning and we're starting to move into a better macro environment, which would increase the breadth, would improve the breadth of this market and start to include okay. smaller caps value and non-U.S. equities. Jack, what does quality mean in fixed income as specifically as you can narrow it? Well, as an equity portfolio manager, I don't really have a strong view on quality and fixed income. Um, okay, quality... then, sorry, let me, let me give that to Brian then. Uh, get a little bit more specific then since you were talking about that. Um, what, does, what does quality mean uh, for investors out there here? Like, funds, uh, how specifically should you be looking at longer dated things? Well, I'll tell you um, what investors are doing looking for protection or quality is going into money market. I mean, you've seen a substantial over a, a trillion dollars into money markets, and that's giving you a four and a half, five percent yield. Uh, historically, not a lot of volatility. But um, 
you know, typically when you have an inverted yield curve, that's not usually the right approach because you're bringing on reinvestment risk into the portfolio. So I would say move out longer duration in treasuries. Also look um, for quality corporate. So you're, you're being compensated. I mean, it was just a couple of years ago, investors were saying to me, where can I get 4%? Well, you can get 4% in quality corporates now. You can get you know, a tax equivalent yield over 4% in quality municipal bonds. So there's, there's places to go to generate income where you eliminate or at least alleviate some of that reinvestment risk, um, but, but still take advantage of incomes that you didn't think you were going to get again a couple of years ago.